All right, what's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna be doing some maintenance to my uh, quick release. This is my wheel out of my car. It's an NRG um, quick release, uh, the 2.2.0, or uh, either 2.0 or 2.5. Not sure. Um, it's painted here and here just so they can identify it when I take it inside of the uh, the junkyard because I don't leave it inside of the junkyard. I mean inside of the car basically has a piece of sheet metal that I put in there with a little button right there push it the horn goes off the little contact points for the horn uh, first thing I'm gonna do is um, take off these allen screws and dismount the quick release from the actual wheel So everything you're going to need for this is an allen wrench set, rag, dirty rag, doesn't really matter, q-tips, and some oil, I mean some oil, some grease, some good all-purpose black or uh, whichever, like bearing grease, pretty good. Alright, so I got the screws off. Make sure you put these in a safe place. Put them off to the side. Take off your wheel. As you can see, it's got like gunk all in here. Probably rust or something. But um, it's not completely necessary to take off the quick release. But it's good to take off all of this debris between the wheel and the quick release. And that's basically my setup. And as you can see under there, it was a uh, switch to an old toy. I believe it was a phone or something. It was some electronic. And I soldered it. And that's the button right there. And this is just rust and grime. I like this because it's uh, pretty rugged. It's lasted me over three years. And... Uh, yeah the uh the energy personal momo um sparkle whatever you want to like whichever brand buttons that you buy there are these big plastic buttons and it kind of feels like clunky and yeah i don't really like that feel but this is more of a solid feel so then after this i'm just gonna go around and clean all of this up and clean my wheel up and then i'm gonna be working on this side um, cleaning inside here, taking out the ball bearings, and um, basically cleaning and lubricating it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do, take off this clip that goes around. Basically get in between here and pop it off that groove. like that and then you're gonna see this uh, ring inside here that's what actually pushes down on the ball bearings so you don't get play inside when it's uh, engaged so you're gonna um, push the ring down and then this is gonna come up push the ring down and then it's going to shoot straight up. Watch out, there's going to be a big spring pushing up. So once it's like that, you can push it right there, pull it up, and take the assembly off. All right, so bearings are off to the side. Make sure you catch all of them. So 
So now you have the bare unit right there. It's very dirty, as you can see. It's got a lot of dust, dirt, and grime. Got a little rusted or whatever in here. Basically clean this with a towel. Make sure it's no debris at all inside here. What's happening is that since this is uh, being applied onto the car over and over, um, the grit that gets in here, it could start to wear out the quick release. So you just want to have this with grease and no grime. All right, so basically I'm using alcohol, rubbing alcohol. This is 50%, uh, which is regular dollar store stuff. Another little tip is to get your rag, put it around a screwdriver, and get where the ball bearings seat in, and just go around, because that's where like most of the grime is going to collect. I already cleaned it as much as possible, but you're going to find that a lot of grime is in there. So everything is basically almost all cleaned. These are all the components right here. What I actually found funny was that... Uh, I noticed this in the past. I guess I'll bring it up. Right here is a set screw with the big clip that goes around. Pull it out like that. And uh, you could pull that up. And this piece is actually an NRG um, 2.0. So what you're buying is a 2.0, and they add this for $20 to $60. And that's the only difference between a 2.0 and 2.5 but this is essentially a 2.0 with just this at it for almost a hundred bucks is it worth it no did i know that when i was purchasing it no so um i'm gonna clean this up and make this back as you can see it's um pretty grimy i don't know if that's gonna focus but yeah all right so i'm gonna clean this up and um reassemble all right, so I got these cleaned up, put it back, put the ring back, get your Allen, back in there, get this piece. Set it down right there. Get your ball bearings, make sure they're uh, pretty clean. Get your grease. Q-tip with enough grease. Right there. Put it in each hole. This is a, a pretty vital step right here. All right, so once you have a good amount of grease, get your ball bearings and put them in and pretty much uh, Push this down, push the ball bearing in, and put them in each one. And what the grease is basically doing, it's holding the ball bearing in so it doesn't fall out. Kind of a messy job, so you always want a rag handy. Get your big spring. I already cleaned it pretty good with the, with the alcohol. Seat it down. Now this right here, it's gonna seat right into there. Whichever way you want to do it. Put it over. 
press all the way. Push the ring down and then pull the ring back up. And it's basically gonna hold like that, but when you push this down, push this ring in, and the bearings are gonna seat on this outer lip and uh, this clip, this ring, locking ring, is gonna come back out, expanding them, holding it. Get your ring, retainer clip, and that's it. Any excess grease, take it off because a little goes a long way. The more grease you have, the more it's going to attract the uh, dirt and dust. But make sure you have a little coating inside. And so now if you go like that, it's going to retract. And then you're going to see excessive grease there. Clean that grease off also. Because you don't want globs and globs of grease. All you want is a coating. So now let me put this back on the wheel. Alright guys, so that's how you clean an NRG quick release. This goes for uh, the 2.0, 2.5, and 3.0. Um, clean it out because uh, the more you have this looking nice, the more it's going to last you. And uh, by the way, the NRG is uh, the knockoff of uh, Works Bell, but the NRG is very, 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 very good quality. And uh, for almost $120, it's very, very uh, good bargain compared to 400 bucks For the genuine, you can uh, save a little cash, but this still holds up really well compared to the knockoffs that you see on eBay.